Let's take a look at the direct select controls, which are particularly useful when we're dealing with palettes and presets, but have a whole lot of other uses as well. So just for a bit of screen real estate, I'm going to collapse my CIA. I'm going to add a tab, and I'm going to pick my direct select module. And when I open that, you'll notice that I get two banks, top and bottom, and I get the ability to select what's going to populate in each of those banks. So for today, I'm going to put my groups up top, and then on my bottom, I'm going to put my color palettes. As you can see, what direct selects are great for is they auto-populate with the target. So all the groups that we've recorded throughout the series have shown up automatically there, uh, as have the color palettes that we put there. And color palettes will show up by default with a little preview of what color is stored in them, so that's convenient. If I want to page up and down in my direct selects, I have some arrows, and that will take me through my different tiles. I also can change which target is mapped there by just hitting the map type again. Uh, we'll keep it as color palettes. And if I just need to temporarily expand a target, I can hit my expand. That'll take up the whole tab. And you'll notice that I have century buttons down the right hand side now. If I hit expand again, that'll collapse them back. The direct select displays can also be configured. So I'm going to touch the gear with that direct select frame. And you'll notice that I have, at the very top, the ability to choose how many banks I want. So I can increase or decrease that, depending on my screen real estate. When I'm making modifications to the layouts, I can choose which bank I'm talking to. So, so if I were to make different control modifications, I could talk to all of my banks or just modify one at a time. Below that, I have some quick layout choices. So I can do 25 buttons in each bank, 50, 100, or 200, and of course that will depend on the density of my screen. And if I want to go custom, I can also say I just want four rows or three rows, less or more columns, and the like. For our control buttons, we can show or hide specific buttons. So for example, if I show my record button, that's the same as using the record button on my face panel, but it's closer to my touch screen, so I have to move my hand less. If I don't want any control buttons to show up, I can just uncheck those, and they'll actually hide and give me a little bit more space, but then I don't have the ability to page as easily, things like that, so I'm gonna put some of those back. I have the ability to add millennial buttons, which just like we saw in Expand, will give me a shortcut to hundreds and thousands, so I can quickly navigate through large amounts of targets. I'm gonna hide that for now. And then I can determine where my control buttons sit. So if I want them on the right-hand side of the screen, that's where they default. Or I can put them on the left-hand side of the screen if that's where I prefer them. We'll keep them on the right for today. Some other tools, if I reduce the number of buttons and say maximize button size, those buttons are just gonna stretch to fill the space. And below, like in many other tabs where I can configure settings, I can set the current bank as default so once I've set that, if I open any other direct select tabs, it's going to use all these settings by default. And if I want to reset to the EOS default, I can do that as well. And that puts me back at the same location as if I had just opened a new tab. So once again, I'm going to grab groups and color palettes. This is great for full screen, but if I wanted my CIA open, you can see that those tiles get a little compressed. So one of the things that I can do is do a split screen and put two direct select tabs side by side. So the first thing I'm gonna do is split the screen. And for this tab, I'm just gonna go down to one bank uh, and I will default 50, which is really nice. And I'm gonna go ahead and open up another direct select tab on that side of the screen. And I want that to be my color palettes. And that's also gonna default to 50. But just like before, I could go into my configuration screen and set those to be any size that I want. So I like this, so I'm gonna go ahead and say record snapshot three. And I can label a snapshot while I'm recording it, so I'm gonna go ahead and label it programming, enter. And as soon as I clear my command line, I'll be out of the snapshot editor.